It's actually kind of hard to express my gratitude to all of you uh, for your responses and the reception that last week's video got. Thank you so much. I wrote down so many notes. Your suggestions were tops. Basically, now I just have like a ton of video ideas that I cannot wait to do. Today, I have a recipe video based off of one of your recipes. So I would like to introduce you all to Caroline. Hello, my dear Katie. I hope you're well. Hello from New York. I heard you're looking for more matcha recipes. And not just because I have green glasses. And I definitely have one to lend you. It is my matcha sponge cake. I hope it serves you well. Matcha green tea sponge cake? Cha! You guys ready? Let's go. You will need one cup of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup sugar, and you'll want to keep one teaspoon of sugar on the side that you'll mix in with the egg whites. A fourth cup honey, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one tablespoon matcha green tea powder, a fourth teaspoon kosher salt, an eighth teaspoon cream of tartar, seven large eggs separated, yolks in one bowl, whites in the other. Whoops. Caroline spelled out all of the kitchen gear equipment that you'll need to do this. She mentioned a loaf pan. I actually don't have a loaf pan at the moment, so I'm gonna use this. So work with what you got, you know? So first you're gonna preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 165 degrees Celsius. So in a mixing bowl, add in the yolks, sugar, honey, vanilla, green tea powder, and salt, and beat until everything is thoroughly combined. Then you'll get a large pan of hot water and place the bowl in that. Make sure the water only comes halfway up the bowl. Then mix this with the mixer for about five minutes or until the mixture gets to be a pale green yellow. Take the bowl out of the water and put it on a kitchen towel to prevent it from dripping. Now take this mixture and gradually add in your flour, continually mixing. Mix it till it's smooth and then set it aside. Now, take your egg whites, put them in another bowl, and beat them on medium speed until they become bubbly and foamy. At this point, you'll add in the extra bit of sugar you set aside and some cream of tartar. Continue beating the whites until they form soft peaks. Using a rubber spatula, gradually add and fold the egg whites gently into the yolk and flour mixture. Lightly grease your pan and put down some parchment paper. Pour the mixture into the pan over the parchment paper you've put down and fill it until it's about an inch from the top. Caroline, your directions are so good and so detailed, but I missed that last little part until it's an inch from the top. So you'll see what happens to mine, but I still, it, it obviously turned out really well, but you'll see. Put it in the oven to bake for about 40 minutes. The cake should be golden brown, and you can check it by poking it with a toothpick, or I used a knife, and seeing if it comes out clean. Now set this aside and let it cool for 20 to 30 minutes. Take a small butter knife and loosen the edges of the cake. And now, it's ready to enjoy. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but that texture is like, Sponge cake perfection. Mmm. It's really good. It's like subtly matcha y. It's not overwhelming green tea flavored. I bet Connor would even like this, and he does not like tea. Caroline, this is so good. I am super impressed with the fact that you came up with this, all of the techniques you used, the egg white fluffy situation and folding it in, it makes all the difference. You go girl, this is baller. Thank you so much for suggesting. So yeah, this is just a bonus video. There's a whole new video for you tomorrow that I'm really excited about. Uh, super fun because I love Rachel Koo, don't you? Who doesn't? She came out with a new cookbook and we are making a super delicious recipe from that. And if you want more recipes, not just from our friend Caroline, but from the whole wide world and more travel recipes, uh, be sure to click subscribe. Click that button right there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Y'all are the best. I love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, don't forget to keep it quirky.